so I had a very authentic one year Korean high school life. Uh, I was uh, like one of the very common Korean high school girl. But then uh, after that year, I w- had to go to Berlin, Germany. And building up social relationship in Korea and Germany, I noticed were very different. Okay. So in Korea, I, uh, the impression I had was if you want to have a successful social life, if you want to be popular, and if you're a new student, then you have to keep a low profile first with a friendly face and then like observe the given color of the community and try to understand the hierarchical structure of the community and then only start speaking when someone approaches to you first. Okay. Yeah, like it's like you have to appreciate the given community first and show that you're the type of person that can blend into what's already given. You're not the one that's oddly standing out. Okay. And of course, you can show your colors, but only later when you gain trust and authority among friends. Okay. I, that's the impression I got in I Korea. I had no idea. And I might be theorizing too much, but mm. that was my theory in Korea to be a popular girl. Okay. <laughs> so I, I practiced that when I was a new student in Germany. And um, so I was keeping low profile, waiting until someone would talk to me. Waiting, waiting, and then a year passed. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no one approached me Aww. for an entire year. I didn't understand. I thought it was maybe because um, I couldn't speak German. Because um, my international school, we had a lot of Germans and German-speaking friends. Um, we had like three international schools in Berlin, and mine was the one with a lot of German people. Okay. So I thought because I couldn't speak German, although I was pretty fluent in English. That might be the reason why I can't develop a deeper relationship. Um, so after a year there, after I got a little bit more confident speaking in German, I asked them, why, did, why didn't you like, why didn't you greet me? Why didn't you talk to me? And they gave me a very surprising reason. Mm. They said, well, you never really invited us to your party at home. Okay. You never really showed yourself to us. So, like, it was completely opposite from what I learned in Korea. Like, in Germany, self-promotion is a norm. Like, if you want to be a popular person, you have to be able to show what kind of person you are very clearly in front of other people. Mm. So, I think learning that was tough for me. Okay. Mm. So, I guess your friends are sort of waiting for you to come out of your shell and introduce yourself and mingle and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They weren't very familiar with Asians in general. And I think they were trying to be careful. They were very cautious about approaching mm. to me and was hoping that I would um, have opened up an event that can show myself more. Um, I only realized uh, in uh, this speech class that we had, speech and debate class we had, mm-hmm. I rarely talked. I was a, a very quiet nerd for the first year in Germany. But then in the speech and debate class, we had to talk about this colonialism history and so like about the korea japan relationship as a very patriotic girl i started to speak out really loudly (laughs) and that's when i got the attention of german students oh okay wow the girl speaks (laughs) yeah yeah. and she's fierce (laughs) and she's angry (laughs) 